I really love um, Aqualon. Uh, it's his new record. I can't remember the name of the song. Oh, Reel Me In. It's called Reel Me In. It's track two off of Aqualon. I love it. Uh, pizza delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Self-taught. Uh, my dad did play guitar, and I did learn a couple chords from him. But mostly, just sitting in my room and figuring it out. You know, whatever sounded good to my ears is how I learned how to play music. And uh, I play guitar, a little bit of piano, sometimes drums. When I'm, when I'm feeling frisky, <laughs> I like to get behind a drum kit. It's great stress release. My dad and my mom, you know, seeing them on stage was the, the first live music experience that I had as a child, so uh, I would say they were the, the biggest inspiration for me getting on stage and playing. When I got kicked off my baseball team my senior year of high school uh, for coming, coming to a basketball game after having a beer, that's when I realized, all right, well, I can't play baseball. What else do I like in life? And I stumbled upon music. That's when I started playing guitar when I was 18. Um, I guess when I got into college a couple years later and had people uh, build my confidence up by telling me they enjoyed me playing, you know, that's when I made the decision to start you know, chasing music as a career and as a passion that uh, you know, support me through life. I have memories of like writing poems to girls, you know, when, when you're in high school and first falling in love for the first time, at least you think you are, uh, which were kind of musical. You know, that was when I first started, you know, rhyming words together and making things sound pretty, at least to my ears and hopefully to theirs. But as far as music, like the first time I, re I remember the first song I recorded, you know, and that's when I felt like I had written a song. It was the first time I actually hear it playing back through the speakers I uh, was about, I was 20, I wrote a song called Fly, and hopefully no one ever finds it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. You don't have to have an answer. I don't know. <laughs> it's like that, that doesn't even seem possible. Today, today was a favorite moment. We, uh, Rock by the Sea has been really good. We had a new band, so this is kind of, every show is like a new, a new venture with a new group of people that really feels good. And so every show feels like we're getting, you know, more in tune with each other. And the music reflects that, and it's, it's the best, best time I've had playing is right now. A festival I played right across the Gulf over in St. Petersburg. And I'm playing solo acoustic. And there's this girl, it wasn't really a stage. You know, I had a, an area that was considered the stage, but it wasn't elevated, so it was on the same level as the people. My girl wanders, you know, just sort of like dances up into where my area is, where I'm singing and playing, and starts breaking it down behind me, like as I'm playing the song, you know, shaking, shaking her butt all on me. I mean, the whole crowd was going crazy. Like, who is, and nobody saved me. They just let it happen. Uh, and this girl was a little intoxicated and uh, stepping on my tuner. I mean, like cutting the music off, coming back on. It was, it was in, as far as an insane moment. That's one that I remember. Because I was so mad, nobody came to my rescue. <laughs> they just watched me burn with this girl shaking her, uh, shaking her stuff all over me during the middle of a real intimate song. To be yourself, you know, don't don't try to copy what you hear. Take it and, and learn from it, and voice it in a way that's your own. <laughs>